What's the lowest and deepest backrooms level? Hey everyone, Brugley here, and today I'm going to be going over three of the deepest negative backrooms levels that have been found so far. Now, negative levels are known for being glitchy and volatile and corrupted, so you can pretty much guess how crazy these levels are about to be. Sit back, relax, and let's get into some insane levels. Also, if you want to see a more personal side of me, go check out my vlog channel. It'll be the top link in the description below. Thank you. Okay, so first for the video is Backrooms Level Negative 980. This level is classified as a class, uh, whatever this is, mysterious box thing, and the whole level is very unknown and enigmatic. It's full of structural and spatial glitches, but the main layout of this entire level is a large labyrinth of nightmarish and nostalgic and liminal corridors that all look different. The area that you'll be in when you first get sent here is what looks like a huge hospital, except there aren't any beds or equipment, and the floor is slippery. The floor is slippery and it's made out of a white tile and it's slippery because there's almond water on it and the walls are grayish brown and they're made out of concrete. Now these hospital hallways are pretty much infinite and they're only lit up by these dim green lights. To exit this first portion of the level, you're gonna need to find a black wooden door, open it and then go through it to be sent to the main part of level negative 980. So as I said earlier, the entire level is made up of these nightmarish and nostalgic and liminal corridors and areas. And pretty much after you go through that black door, you'll be going through your old memories. So the first room that you'll be in after you go through that door is your first ever memory from real life. You'll just be walking directly through it. So it might be your childhood room or something like that. After this first memory area, you'll keep going through doors and exiting doors, and you'll just keep going through different nostalgic moments from your life. These moments are liminal places like playgrounds and old restaurants and old pools and schools and old stores that you went to a long time ago. All of these spaces will give you these really strong feelings of nostalgia and sadness and loneliness because they're all empty and old looking, and you'll get that typical liminal vibe from them. These Corridors, of course, are very glitchy and volatile and warp constantly because it's a negative level and they're all pretty much the same way. And they'll keep going for as long as you do. As of right now, that could be forever because there's no listed exit. So I guess you can get lucky and no clip out. But for now, it sounds like you're just doomed to wander an eternal labyrinth of liminal spaces from your childhood. There's actually one guy who got sent here a long time ago named Heinz, and he's been trapped here for a very long time in level negative 980 and he's been communicating to the outside people through an unknown internet means and he's been documenting these different levels and stuff he's been through but it sounds very glitchy and dangerous to be trapped here and i really don't think that you would want to stay here for long especially because who wants to be trapped in their memories forever So next for the video is level negative 999, which is even deeper than the last one. But this level is safe, which is nice. The level itself has a class habitable rating, and it takes the appearance of a long road that goes through a mountain chain. It's similar to a mountain chain that you'd find in the Pacific Northwest area. The weather is misty and moderate, and the entire level has calming sounds of birds chirping and light drizzling of rain hitting the leaves. It's pretty much, it's like a woodland escape. And the road seems to actually loop back around to itself after a couple hours of walking, which means that it's not infinite, it just is a huge circle around a mountain. And surrounding the actual mountain is a huge, vast, unexplored ocean, which as of right now has never been like touched or anything, so it's probably not recommended to go there. And as a matter of fact, most of this level isn't explored because it's so deep into the back rooms that only a few people have been here so we're going off just a couple of people's accounts of coming here the only slightly scary part of the level is at night where people seem to feel like they're being watched or that they feel unsettled in some way whatever that means no one knows why these feelings happen since the level is supposed to be safe but yeah 
just look over your shoulder, I guess. But overall, this level is a pretty mountain landscape with a road that loops around and it's always raining and chill and the vibes are good. And because this area is so safe, a few communities have been set up. However, not much is known about them because only a small number of people have been here. The only really anomalous thing about the level is something that happens here called log cabins. Now, obviously, they're just log cabins, but they appear randomly around the road and the woods on this mountain. And when I say appear, I mean they literally just spawn in randomly at any time. They look out of place, and they kind of just appear and disappear at random, but they seem to disappear when people aren't in them for long periods of time. Inside of the cabins, you'll typically see a bedroom and a living room and a kitchen or something like that, and they all seem very familiar and liminal and like you've been there, but as I said earlier, they seem to be glitchy as well, and just very not normal. To enter this level, you can try to go into a red building on level 11 for a chance, and to exit, you can jump off the top of the mountain for a chance to be sent to level 4251, but I don't know if I would leave this level, because it seems pretty safe and like a paradise for someone who enjoys being in the woods, and I also wouldn't leave because you gotta buckle up for what's next, which is level negative 1000. So level negative 1000 is classified as a class undetermined difficulty because it is too broken and warped and volatile to even classify properly. It's made up of a bunch of gray hallways that kind of look like a castle in a way, with huge windows that are shoved into the side of the walls. The hallway itself that you spawn in is very glitchy and warping, of course. I know I've said that about a billion times this video, but it's true. It's so glitchy, in fact, that it's hard to photograph and it's hard to get any video or audio because it literally just almost isn't real. So walking to the end of the hallway you spawn in, you'll find a gate that has been locked and it needs two keys to unlock it. These keys to the gate are inside two other rooms that are in this hallway. Now these specific rooms are behind two specific doors, which I'll get into right now. They're known as the left and the right door. The left door opens to some kind of weird maze and this maze is glitchy and non Euclidean and liminal looking, of course, but your goal is to make it through this maze to the end where you'll find a room full of chairs. Yes, I said chairs. Somewhere in this room is one of the keys to unlock the gate from earlier. The chair room itself is unsettling and liminal, and it feels just very off in a way, like it shouldn't exist, and your brain will kind of start to play tricks on you because it doesn't seem like you're real, so you kind of have like this derealization effect. To find the other key, you have to make your way back through the maze and then go into the door on the right, which leads to a hallway with a ton of different doors that all lead to different rooms. These rooms are full of chairs. Each and every one of them is, and they're all glitchy and unstable like the rest of the level. But you're gonna need to find the room with the second key in it, but to do that, you're gonna have to open all the doors and search under the chairs that are everywhere and see if you can find it. If you somehow find both keys and then you make it through all the liminal doors and all the chair rooms and halls and you're finally able to get back to the main hallway to open the gate, you're gonna be disappointed because the bad news is the thing behind the the gate is just the entrance to the next level, which is level negative 1001. Some people for a long time thought it was an exit or an entrance to the promised land or something, but it's not. It's just an entrance to the next level. So sorry to those of you who thought that you might escape the back rooms because you probably won't. There's also supposed to be an entity here that lurks around these glitchy hallways. It's kind of invisible to the human eye, but when you think back of memories where you think you saw it, you can kind of see it in your head. It cannot be photographed and it cannot be seen with a naked eye, just in your memories. So the entire level is just so glitchy and distorted that it's not good to stay here for long because you'll eventually just become part of the glitchiness. And only a very few people out of everybody that's been here has escaped to tell the tale. To enter it, you can find a gray pillar on level negative six, and to exit, you can open the gate with those two keys to be sent to the next level, or you can break the window in the hallway to jump into the void and just stay there forever, I guess. But I think this level might be worse than level 404 or any other glitchy level that I've gone over. What do you think? I think it's terrible and scary and horrifying. Thank you. 
that's it for my explanation of these three deep negative backrooms levels. I do hope you enjoyed it. I always love these negative levels because they're so crazy and volatile and who doesn't like the backrooms being corrupted? Thank you for watching until the end. I love and appreciate all of you. Uh, while you're down in the description below, check out my vlog channel if you want to see more of my journey through real life and that kind of thing. And you want a more personal side of me, I think you'll like it over there. With all that said, I hope you had a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.